What is up guys? My name is Mike. Most of you will know of me as Onslaught. That is my Xbox Live Gamer Tag, but this video has nothing to do with gaming. This is a quick tutorial on how to use Google Images to find desktop backgrounds or wallpapers. Anytime that I post up a video log where you guys can see my monitors in the background cycling through all these images, I get 20 or 30 personal messages from people asking me where I get my backgrounds. And it's really simple. You guys are going to be probably blown away by how easy it is. So first thing you need to do is find the size of your screen, whatever resolution that is. So I'm going to right click my background. I'm using Windows 7 by the way. And you go to screen resolution. This right here is what you're looking for. So we're on the number one monitor here. 1600 by 900 is the size that we're looking for. If you can't remember whatever this number is, just write it down somewhere. We're gonna use it here in a second. Next up, to use Google Images, you can use any um, any browser, Internet Explorer, Safari, Firefox, whatever. I'm gonna use Google Chrome because Google Chrome is the shit. So you need to go to google.com and then go to images. Up in the top left, there's gonna be a tab for images. Click on that. Now you need to search for whatever type of background it is you're wanting to find. So it can be really generic. It can be convertible. Okay, so you wanna find a convertible car. Like I said, really generic. Thousands, millions probably of photos came up here. So you wanna be really specific. Uh, say you want to find a 1983 Porsche 911, we'll do a Targa, okay? Bam, okay, all these images either have this, uh, these, uh, these keywords in the title or in the tags. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to search for just a generic, really generic name. So we'll search for something like space, okay? You don't need to put in wallpaper. That's only going to limit the amount of images that come up. So just search for space and hit enter. Now, off your initial result, you get tons of images, millions of images. The only problem is they are not all to the size that you want or that's going to fit your resolution perfectly, which is what you want in the end. You don't want your photos or your backgrounds to be distorted at all. So first image, for example, 1024 by 768, not what we're looking for. Next image, 550 by 440, still not what we're looking for. Next image, 3000 by 1938, definitely not what we're looking for cool thing with Google Images is, look over here on the left side, there should be something that says exactly. Click on that. This is where that number that I asked you guys to write down or remember in the beginning comes into play. So we're looking for a 1600 pixel wide by 900 pixel high image because that is the resolution of my monitor or my screen here. Once you hit search, Ta-da! All of the um, all of the images that came up match that specific resolution, and now you can pretty much pick and choose any of these images that you want. I mean, you have there are tons, like I said, thousands of images that you can pick from. So let's just find one real quick, and I'll show you guys what to do from here. But we're we're pretty much done. So this is an image that say I want to save this as uh, as a background. Okay, I want to save it into a folder that I won't cycling through all my backgrounds. So I go ahead and click on this. First thing that comes up is a preview of that image. So I'm going to show you guys where you don't want to go to save off this image. So if I close out of this preview, it's going to take me to the website where that image is. And now this could be in a forum somewhere. It could be on somebody's web page. It could be anywhere. This is not where you want to copy this image from. So let me go back to go back to my image search. Click on it again. Up here in the top left, this is the key, okay? Click on full size image, okay? See this address up here? This takes you to the exact JPEG location on the internet. There's nothing else on this page on at this web address other than this JPEG and this is what you want. Um, a lot of the time when you first open this up the image is going to be scaled down to fit into your browser. If you have an option to notice how I have a magnifying glass here and I can blow up the size of the picture make it larger that's what you want to do because once I hit that now the image is the exact size that I'm looking for. Now it's 1600 by 900 and that's what we want. All you do now is right click your background, save image as, and I'm gonna go to my picture folder, and then I have a background folder set up. You guys can see all my previous backgrounds that I have saved here. You just hit save, and ta-da, you're done. Now that background photo is gonna be in my you know series of backgrounds that I have rotating through. So if I go down here at the bottom, go to show in folder, and that's an option with Google Chrome. If you're using Internet Explorer or another browser, you might not have you know this option here at the bottom but you guys can see that image right there it's right in here with all of my other background images and you're done I hope this helps you guys for for all of you that send me questions asking about my backgrounds that's where I get them from really easy Google images and do a specific search for the screen uh, for the resolution that you're searching for and you're done so I hope this helped you out I'll catch up with you guys later see you on Xbox live later guys